हे गाइस वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन आवर चैनल दैट इज अचीव आई एस सो फ्रेंड्स इन टुडे वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग दैट हाउ द विक्टिम्स ऑफ क्राइम सफर इन इंडिया सो फ्रेंड्स एवरी कंट्री हैज इट्स ऑन क्रिमिनल जस्टिस सिस्टम सो इंडिया ऑल्सो हैज इट्स क्रिमिनल जस्टिस सिस्टम बट करंटली देर आर मैनी लुकूने इन इट सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो we will be discussing the lacune that pertain to the victims of crime <clears throat> and which leads to their suffering so the month is june and the year is 2019 so let's start our discussion so we will start our discussion with the case study so case study is not uh, in uh, in that de depth but i have just uh, uh, included it to set a context for the whole lecture so friends uh, uh, pathways as you know that in india justice uh, uh, pathways to justice are always orders because uh, there are long uh, long delays and uh, the long long pending of, uh, pending of cases and uh, cumbersome procedure and then costly lawyers and all these things uh, we uh, you can imagine this because uh, this takes a kind of a heavy toll on on the poor people so in case of bilkis bano uh, that is uh, uh, a lady uh, of gujarat that was raped in the 2002 uh, godra rights uh, she was raped uh, she was gang raped and uh, it took nearly 17 years of pain we can say and perpetual victimization uh, uh, of uh, this lady after which it uh, earned an entitlement from supreme court uh, uh, regarding the compensation that must be uh, given to her uh, as a as a as a result of this Uh, this gang rape and uh, other cruel cruelty to, uh, towards her so this compensation in case of bilkis bano many many people and many media sections have lauded the supreme court yeah it is to be lauded but it is not a matter of celebra celebration because uh, here we it is a, it is a kind of we can say context in which we can uh, analyze our criminal justice system of of india so friends uh, uh, let me tell you that uh, criminal just it is the duty of the criminal justice system to ensure that the victim is properly compensated and uh, he, it, he or she is properly rehabilitated and in, in if in case criminal justice system fails then certainly uh, there is a major, major lacune so it, here you can see that uh, a rape that took uh, to nearly 17 years ago uh, the, uh, the compensation uh, was awarded now so you can see that uh, it was a kind of failure failure of justice to deliver justice for the victims of crime uh, crime in ordinary course and in fact the supreme court that is the apex court of the country had has to intervene so this uh, this says a lot about the uh, uh, ordeal of uh, of this lady and of a um, uh, million others who 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 face such agony and pain in the course of their uh, uh, road to justice so this uh, so this is the context basically so let's see what are the provisions in india so friends let me tell you that there is a specific provision that is section 357a in the criminal procedure code of india so what this uh, section 357a says it says that the victim of the crime has the right uh, right to seek compens compensation so it is not just a mercy on the comp uh, on the on the victim but in fact it is a right of the victim to claim compensation from the state for the loss or injury suffered by him or her in the course of the crime that that has been committed or upon him or her so in this context uh, uh, this section 357a is important because there is statutory provision in which uh, uh, a right based approach is followed and uh, there is also provision of interim compensation in it because uh, uh, you know that uh, trials in india take lo a long time so for that purpose uh, for, uh, as i have uh, already highlighted that in case that in case of bilkis bano it uh, took nearly 17 years so for the purpose of this uh, the provision of interim compensation is there and uh, this is to be awarded uh, by the district legal services authority uh, on the directions or the recommendation of the court uh, uh, and this compensation is uh, despite the fact that offender uh, need not be identified arrested or tried or convicted in order to award this interim compensation so in this uh, uh, in this pursuit of uh, uh, vict uh, uh, in this pursuit of we can say uh, justice to the victim there is there was there there is, there is also a fund created that is called central victim compensation fund that uh, that gives uh, monetary uh, uh, we can say awards to the victims 
so in this context they these are the provisions so you might say that uh, obviously the provisions are there and uh, then our criminal justice system ha doesn't have any lacuna, lacuna because the criminal justice system ensures that compensation is given to victim in, and in fact interim compensation is given and that to uh, even when the uh, when the uh, when the uh, when the accused is uh, has been traced or not but the actual ground reality is very different friends so how is the implementation the question must come here so according to national crime record bureau report 2016 there were nearly approximate 39000 cases if you go by exact number then it is 38947 cases of rape were reported in the country and uh, the nalsar uh, uh, that is the law institute top in, uh, law uh, institution of india uh, so in 2018 it reported that uh, uh, out of the, all the victims of uh, sexual assault or we can say rape only 5 to 10 percent of the victims uh, get, uh, kind, uh, get compensation under the various schemes that are set up by central government or either by state government so compensation is not that much and the numbers as you can see 5 to 10 percent is not a very encouraging number so uh, here I would like to mention uh, one thing uh, one more thing also that uh, don't see just it uh, don't see this uh, lecture or we can say this from the angle of uh, 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 from the angle of uh, only one nature of crime Do don't just focus on rape or for that matter on the sexual assault there are also other kinds of crimes for uh, uh, in which the the victim suffers physical in injury or uh, the emotional injury the psychological trauma but the compensation is not given and the victim is uh, uh, left at the mercy of the state institutions so so obviously as I have told you that it is not the mercy, it must be the right of the city, the, of the victim. And the process is also uh, uh, com uh, quite complex in case of uh, uh, availing compensation because uh, uh, there is restrictive eligibility criteria. Many victims do not uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, fail to uh, fail to impress the authorities that they are eligible uh, uh, for the compensation and there is long ambiguous procedure which is followed for and also there is long procedure follow, uh, followed by fund disbursement and agencies so which unfortunately uh, kind of uh, causes the alienation of victim from the criminal justice system and uh, also the uh, the main thing is that uh, the interim compensation is also debatable because interim compensation is not given and also when it comes to final compensation then final compensation is uh, 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 associated with the conclusion of the complete trial and as you know that in India uh, the trials uh, take a long time for conclusion and in fact as I have highlighted that in case of Wilkes Bano it uh, took nearly 17 years so you can imagine that uh, uh, this uh, we can say uh, uh, compensation or, or trial completion is not uh, that much easy and it takes long time and thus also uh, this compensation also gets delayed in same proportion so it is clear kind of uh, uh, injustice to the victim because always it, there is a, there is a saying that justice delayed is justice denied so uh, this must not happen and also uh, the one more thing is uh, uh, this thing is substantiated by national crime record bureau uh, 2016 report that uh, nearly 133000 cases of rape are awaiting trial so when so much number of cases are awaiting trial obviously their uh, their victims will uh, 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 their victims are also waiting for the compensation so compensation is not given and it is uh, left at the discretion of the authorities to give the compensation or not and eligibility criteria is prescribed and then there are cumbersome procedures and then there, there is a, a kind of we can say delay in trials and also the one major issue is also of uh, the trial courts trial court judges are not that much sensitized or that much aware about this compensation obviously they must be knowing this but they uh, it is it is surprising that there is a, 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 a very less invoking of the provisions under section 357a of the criminal procedure code so it is a serious concern because obviously uh, the, it is the responsibility of the judge who is sitting over the trial court to to uh, to uh, kind of award compensation to the to the victim and in case if the, it doesn't happen then victim either uh, uh, he or she loses faith in this uh, entire criminal justice system or uh, he is forced to he or she is forced to go go to go to a PAX court or for that matter high court which already increases the burden which uh, which increases the burden of already high pressurized judiciary 
so in this context implementation is a major problem and other thing is that lack of awareness is also there among the crime victims and uh, but the case of Bilkis Bano again is a classic example because uh, she took the route uh, of uh, uh, kind of of of, of going to uh, uh, Apex Court Supreme Court so only uh, uh, near about 17 years were taken and also criminal courts are not yet alive or properly sensitized about their duty so in fact Supreme Court in 2013 in Ankush uh, 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 this Ankush Shivaji Gaikwad versus State of Maharashtra or uh, this uh, Man Manohar Singh versus State of Rajasthan and others in 2015 declared that it is the duty of the judges uh, uh, that uh, trial court judges must apply their judicial mind to each case of crime for awarding compensation. So it is a responsibility, it is mandatory upon the uh, judges to apply their judicial mind. But they are not invoking section 357A and ultimately then victims are either forced to go to uh, I, uh, to Supreme Court or they lo lose faith in criminal justice system and in High Court and Supreme Courts you know uh, in, in High Courts and Supreme Court you know that uh, proceedings takes year to complete and also there is a uh, another thing that is secondary victimization in the course of all these things the victim is already when 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 he or she is shattered by the crime he's further shattered by all these uh, state agencies that is uh, he's often uh, kind of uh, made subject to uh, secondary victimization on account of treatment meted out to them by either police or persecution or courts so proper sensitization must be there which is not there and uh, if we consider the scenario elsewhere for example United Kingdom Kingdom or USA then in United Kingdom there is a proper authority that is criminal injuries compensation authority which decides within 12 months that whether the uh, victim needs the compensation or not and then there is also a appeal authority uh, criminal injuries compensation appeals panel which listens to the uh, listens to the listens uh, the appeals against the awards given by criminal injuries co compensation authority so such a framework if, if, if it is there in india uh, then it can certainly help it the help the victim in a time bound manner uh, and now you as you know that the currently there is no time limit and the, uh, everything is open-ended and in fact in USA also all the 50 states have uh, this compensation program in US and the ambit of victim support includes the interim compensation also so this is the scenario elsewhere and uh, let's see what is the way forward so way forward is friends we can obviously see as I have highlighted the problems so uh, many of the way forwards you can uh, uh, you can uh, give by 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 seeing those problems and by by uh, by kind of focusing upon those problems and then suggesting way forward one more thing is that we can amend our code of criminal procedure to bring about clarity on substantive rights of victims so as i have told you that many times victims are not aware of the of such schemes so there must be a proper amendment to the criminal procedure code so that there is a proper clarity about the substantive rights of the victims uh, the, the, uh, to the compensation then also there must be elaborate laying down of statutory gu guidelines so that there is a so that there is a standardization of quantum of compensation uh, and it must depend upon the nature of uh, crime and its harmful effects on the victim and uh, this must not be left to the discretion of the executive and other thing uh, that that could be done is that uh, we can introduce formal mechanism in which victim impact assessment could take place and in this uh, victim impact assessment uh, one can uh, 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 using objectivity and consistency consistency can decide the quantum term of compensation that must be awarded to the victim other thing is uh, that uh, constitutionally also victims are uh, we can say obviously the state has the responsibility if we if we see the modern state modern nation state then the nation state has the responsibility to protect victims or to protect everybody and in if in case state failed in that pursuit then it is the right of the victim to claim uh, claim such uh, 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 entitlement or say compensation for the loss he or she suffered because uh, it, wa uh, it was it was uh, it was we can say responsibility of the government to look after the individual and uh, if, if it failed then victim uh, has the right to ask this so uh, uh, in this context when the victims are entitled to such mechanisms then uh, there is a need to create a proper constitutional or constitutional or either a statutory provision where a proper authority is created the, for example national victim services authority which uh, which can better uh, can, which can help in stream 
streamlining all these procedures or services that are to be provided to the victim and also uh, it, it it can help in organizing victim services services more professionally so such authority will certainly uh, will go uh, will go a long way in addressing the uh, ordeal that the victims face during the course of uh, trial and the crim uh, uh, the whole whole procedure of criminal justice system so this is all about friends today's video if you like this video then do ensure that you like it share it with your friends and uh, this is our email id we have given uh, here given you the email id and uh, this is our phone number in, in case you have any uh, queries you can contact us at this email id or at this phone number and you can also visit our website that, that is www.achieveih.co.in so uh, if in case you want to download the uh, pdf of this lecture then you can do so by visiting our website so this is all about today's lecture friends do ensure that you subscribe to our channel do not forget to press the bell icon because then only you will get all the notifications about the important updates that we do on our channel so thank you friends have a very nice